good evening, everyone. I want to begin by thanking everyone who has made this special evening possible. That includes our honorees, introducers, sponsors, and in particular, the CED and hotel staff. In COVID times, these events are much more complicated to produce, and I will say, much more appreciated by the attendees. So thank you very much. And I'd also like to thank my fellow trustees who are here tonight for the invaluable role they play at CED. Combining input from America's most purpose-driven business leaders who serve as trustees with the insights from one of the world's leading, nonpartisan, data-driven think tanks is a big reason why solutions advanced by CED are so impactful. Tonight, as we honor six individuals for their bold leadership during challenging times, I cannot help but reflect on the life and legacy of former Secretary of State Colin Powell, who we sadly lost this past week. General Powell famously said, leadership is about solving problems. The day soldiers stop bringing you their problems is the day you have stopped leading them. He also said, great leaders are always great simplifiers who can cut through an argument, debate, and doubt to offer a solution everyone can understand. These two principles, while always important, have been even more so during the pandemic. The leaders who we're honoring tonight have exemplified these attributes. They have engendered the trust of all their stakeholders, working them, with them to help find solutions and they've been excellent strategists and communicators, cutting to the chase of the problem, eliminating the unnecessary, and charting a path forward. To all the honorees and companies here tonight, we applaud you for your resilience, your passion, your leadership when the world needed it, and continues to need it most. So I'll now turn the podium back over to Lori, the president of CED. Thank you. Thank you, Tamara, and thank you to all the members, the CED members of the dinner committee this year. 